This is a short video to show you how to install refill cartridges into your Epson R3000 printer. Now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look at the printer. Uh, let's, let's take out our Epson cartridge. So that's our Epson cartridge that we, we're going to uh, replace. Uh, it's run out of ink and we're going to prepare a new refill cartridge for the to, to go in. This is our kit. We've got our instructions, we've got our CD that contains the generic printer profiles and also the instructions in electronic form. Everything's printed out there. We've got our nine refill cartridges which we're going to look at one of them to show you and in the pack also is our nine uh, uh, syringes. You also get a uh, a reset tab, little metal tab to reset your your cartridges and also this little syringe which is the priming syringe. So let's go through the process of actually doing uh, one cartridge. We've got one here prepared. So we've got a, a, a new cartridge. What we're going to do is we're going to take our ink, in this case it's, it's licensed ink, we're going to uh, uh, pierce the pierce the top. We're going to take out the little bung at the top there. Now on this side, let's just make sure we make this very very plain. There's a hole here. Now this hole should be open. If, there, if there's a, a little bung on there, you take that out and you throw it away because that's the breather hole. This is the hole that you use to top up your cartridge. So we're going to pull out about 30 mil of ink from our cartridge, from, from our bottle, so that's 10 mil, and in total we're going to put 30 mil in. So we're going to very slowly, it's not a good idea to put a lot of ink in in one fast, fast uh, 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 um, operation. We want to put the ink in nice and slowly. There we go, a little bit more. We've already started this cartridge, as you probably see. So we've got a reasonable amount. You could actually go right to the top, and you could fill it up to about three or four mil from the top there. The total capacity of this cartridge is just under 30 mil. Now we've 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 topped the cartridge up so high. We're now going to put the little refill bung back in the cartridge. It's now completely sealed so we're quite safe to turn the cartridge upside down. Now before we put this cartridge into the printer it's very important to prime the cartridge and we're going to use this little we're going to use this little priming this little priming arrangement here which we provide with the kit and what you do is you just put the Put this in here, you push into the end of the, the, the cartridge and you're going to pull through about four to five mil of ink. Now what this does is it pulls the ink through, the, there's a little gland and there's a little arrangement there that it has to pull it through. If you don't pull that little four to five mil of ink through, the, the cartridge won't function correctly. What you then do is having Having completed that, you simply push it into the printer and you're ready to go. Now the printer itself will function exactly as if it had the, the original brand uh, uh, cartridge in. The little front control, the little, the, little, uh, uh, the, 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 the little readouts will look exactly the same and they'll go down over time. Now once the little readout goes down a certain amount, you'll feel the need to uh, check your cartridges. I like to check our cartridges once every week. So w when you feel the need to refill the cartridge, you'd go back to the cartridge here, take this cartridge out, you'd notice it's, you'd notice it's, uh, it's low, and you can then refill the cartridge as I've just sh shown you, but this time, so that you get the little readout to break, come up from the bottom to go to the top, what you do is you take your the little tab, this tab that you will find in with the kit, 
and you let's see if we can arrange this so you can see what I'm doing and you actually short out those two little contacts uh, about 10 seconds and that's enough to short out the contacts that's now reset that chip and you can now put the cartridge back in the printer and this time the little indication will be will come up to the top now you can redo that uh, that cycle time and time again uh, and you'll be printing at a fraction of the cost uh, uh, compared to the OEM uh, 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 the OEM uh, inks once you've got yourself a perfect nozzle check on all of your on all of your channels you then turn your attention to the uh, to the uh, the printer profiles and if you turn to the uh, the sub the part of the instructions which is is in here the operating instructions you simply follow the instructions here you install your printer profiles as per the as per the disk and then you will get a perfect uh, a color and monochrome output because of the printer profiles that we provide